Welcome back to West Coast Goldies. Uh, it is week 14, <clears throat> which is crazy. I apologize in advance. Well, not in advance. I apologize for last week's video. I was sick. Not much happened. But we're gearing up for some hopefully interesting things. I also forgot, totally forgot, that I bought this moving tracking tripod. Like, I set it down and haven't used it in weeks. <clears throat> but I have it now using it again we got some things in store i believe i am going to get six baby bronze ranchu they should be arriving next week so that's exciting and it means that <clears throat> i want to start shifting stuff so as far as today this week um Main goal is getting everything really clean, getting ready for the new fish. I'll probably put them up top. Probably f six fish. So I'll probably do three in each up top for a little quarantine. Um, and my plan is to work on the pond a bit. Um, I'm going to take pictures of the fish that I want to get rid of and see if anybody locally will take them. Uh, so I'll be doing that and then... Uh, the main acrylic tank, you know, I've been watching for a replacement for it because the acrylic won't stay clean. But I figure now could be a good time because I got the main 300 gallon uh, up and running, not leaking. I think it would be a good time to put all the fish into the 300 gallon, uh, disconnect the 100 gallon tank, and I'm going to try to clean out all the algae so it's clean and clear again so that... <sighs> It basically, it needs a good cleaning, a fresh start again, because the algae is so thick and it's so hard to keep that acrylic clean. So I have a plan for that. So that's some of the stuff we're going to do in this video, hopefully. Um, yeah. All right. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to totally dismantle the acrylic tank to clean it out. Um, but I have a little display tank set up. I'm going to put the fish to get rid of in the display tank. And then I'll put everybody in the main pond. Oh, my neck. So, we are keeping... Pom Pom is staying with us. So Pom Pom gets to go right to the main pond. Have fun, Pom Pom. So does Peach. Peach is staying with us permanently till the end of her life. Good job, Peach. Peach and Pom Pom. Or Fluffy. Fluffy? Did I say Fluffy before or Pom Pom? I don't know. Now the other fish are all going away. So, Len, two, gentle now, and uh, you know, I like using, I like using my hand most of the time, but Really, the only reason I'm using the net right now is because it's freezing outside, and I don't want to put my hand in the water. That's really the only reason. Well, that that fantail's grown a lot. Did not remember being that big before. Wow, got some wintertime growth. The other fantail here. Come here, buddy. 
calm down. Yeah, the fantails have put on, put on a little meat this winter. Looking good. Is that everybody? I think there's one more fantail. See, this is why I need to clean out this acrylic tank. It's because it's so much algae. Can't even see the fishies. The uh, Java moss is really grown, though. That's good. Is that everybody? I think it is. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Cease flow. Unplug the heater. No more fish. No more fish. Okay. So these are the fish I'd like to get rid of. Um, <clears throat> don't mind that fantail upside down. That one has had some swim bladder problems. And usually when it's warmer weather, it stays upright just fine. But because it's a little cold, it swims upside down a little bit. But you can tell, you know, it doesn't have any sores on it or anything. So it hasn't injured itself from swimming upside down any. But uh, I'm going to take a couple of pictures of these guys and uh see if we can find a good home for them i need them all to spread out and maybe not look sick come on i will i will give you know whoever decides to take these fish i'll give them as much information as i can so i'm not planning on hiding that swim bladder problem i just i want a good picture of all of them upright and swimming To, to catch the eye, if you will. The only one I'm really tempted to keep is that, I mean, the Aranda, the red and white, orange, because it really is a, a pretty good looking fish, but uh, I'm not looking to breed Arandas, so. They're all looking pretty good. Not too bad, except for, you know, Swim bladder fantail, but that's expected. Besides that, come on, flip up right so I can get a good picture. Like I said, all these fish were free. I got them because someone was moving. They couldn't keep them. So I said, sure, I'll take them. Um, so I'm really, I'm, I'm probably going to put them up for free as well. Not looking to make any money on these guys or anything. Um, and because they were in a pond, <clears throat> I would say pond fish have a bit higher chance of having some kind of parasite than other things just because of bird poop and other stuff. And so I'll fully communicate that to any interested people that like, you know, definitely quarantine them and uh, maybe consider them pond fish. You know, be careful before you mix them with any goldfish of your own. But, uh, in general to healthy fish i think people get too caught up in looking to make the goldfish like sterile they're never going to be sterile they're living animals that interact with other things especially when they're outside and so it's just about making fish that are hardy and healthy and able to fight off any diseases they get in my opinion so oh he's upright better take a couple pictures okay so we'll post these Probably on offer up to start, see if anybody's interested. But in the meantime, they can go back in uh, the main pond. I'll be as gentle as I can here. Don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. Gentle, gentle. Come on, relax, relax, relax. It's okay. The little runt, this little white aranda, um, it's really had under par growth the other fish have gotten significantly larger since they've been in my care but uh that white aranda has stayed the same size it's possible it's sick 
But, you know, I quarantined them all, but I don't know. It's possible it's sick, and that's why it just doesn't have the energy to grow. This is our swim bladder friend. <sighs> and then, uh, but this other, this other white aranda, see, they were about the same size when I got them. So you can see that one has grown, and the other one has not, so... See, that's the swim bladder problem one. He's, he's just chilling. He's fine. Everybody else doing good. So I'm going to totally unhook this here. So that, well, I'm going to, spoiler alert. I'm going to unhook it. I'm going to get this running again. And I'm going to put white vinegar into this tank. And that should help eliminate algae. Uh, and, but it should also, you know, wash away easy. Not leave any residue to hurt the fish later. Okay, we're officially disconnected. I'll show you what I did here. Um, that's the filter pump box. I just ran it back around here. I already had kind of a little overflow drain hole right here, so I zip tied it to that. And then I zip tied it up here to keep it pointing down at this angle so there's no chance any wiggling will knock it loose and it won't empty the pond or anything. And it's actually getting some nice flow going. I also moved over my big java moss that's growing well. My plan here, I'm going to put a bunch of white vinegar in this tank. I'm going to leave it like this, white vinegar, top it off. Shouldn't leak any into there. Should be all contained, especially if I turn these things the right direction. Um, and the white vinegar should break down all the algae. Then I'll be able to empty it, move it over here, maybe wash it out a few times. And see how clear we get it. So this is going to be a nice before picture. And uh, have, I imagine it'll be a lot clearer, but I'm probably going to put white vinegar in and leave it overnight to really break everything down. So this is probably it for today. Add the white vinegar. See you tomorrow. We're back. It's the next day. The fish are loving this. I actually saw Fluffy and Peach like swimming in the current because they like it so much. I kind of like it's making a nice swirl for them and with calm areas in the middle for them to sit. But... Over here, looking good. White vinegar's been sitting. So, man, I don't know the best way to do it. I don't know if I should, well, yeah, I do. I'd like to drain it. That way I can scrub without getting my hand all cold and wet. I don't really want to do this, but uh, it's going to look a lot better, so I'm going to get it over with. All right, just doing some water changes inside now. It's evening time. <clears throat> um, you may have noticed I put dish soap and more white vinegar in the acrylic tank to soak. Because um, the algae, I don't know, I want it to loosen up a bit more. It's still pretty hard to get off with the sponge without scratching it more because I can't use a blade or anything. Um, and it reminds me of one of my first videos to kind of, it didn't go viral, but my first video on TikTok to take off a little bit was not for a good reason. It was the nature of the internet, basically, that I was cleaning out an old pond I found with 
dish soap. And half the crowd was like, oh no, dish soap is so bad, it's going to leave residue that'll kill the fish later. And the other half of the crowd was like, oh no, it's fine. Um, and so that's what made the video get a little traction. Uh, and I still, I still hold to the opinion that regular dish soap is okay to use when you're cleaning something, you know, like that, that you're going to really clean well again before there's any fish in it. You know, I wouldn't use, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take the fish out, clean the tank with Dawn dish soap, you know, wash it out, clean, fill it back up and put the fish right back in. But with my pond and stuff, a tank that I'm going to leave empty for at least a week, probably, I'm going to scrub the algae, you know, white vinegar, a little dish soap. I'm going to rinse it several times. I'm probably not going to set it up for another week. I don't think it's going to leave any residue that will meaningfully hurt the fish. Uh, that's just my opinion. You know, I'm not an expert, but I've also seen, you know, when that video got a little traction, there were people pointing to other large, very knowledgeable fish creators that use dish soap when cleaning out some new equipment they got. And so, you know, I don't know, but I think it's fine. Um, so we're doing some water changes here, getting everything ready. Everybody needs, needs one. I just finished theirs up. Bread sticks up next. The algae, carpet algae is actually looking pretty good. You know, that is not too shabby right there. That is not too shabby at all. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. Uh, but the, our duckweed is blocking a lot of the light. I'll probably take it out, give it to them. They always eat up the duckweed like crazy. And then, uh, you know, water changes for them too. A little water change for our guppy shrimp tank here. They seem to be doing pretty well. There's still shrimp and there's still guppies. So I still need to get an auto feeder. I'm really, I should really just buy it. But I'm procrastinating. Um, yeah. Is that all? I think that's all for now. I'm actually going to live stream on TikTok probably while I finish up these water changes. And then uh, hopefully tomorrow I can clean up the acrylic tank and get it nice and washed out and ready for whenever, probably next week. Well, you know, next video, because tomorrow's Sunday. Next video, set back up the pond again. Um, all right, welcome back. It's Sunday. Uh, last day of the week. Uh, I didn't get to do a water change for them last night, so I'm going to do that right now. And then I think we'll go head outside and try to finish scrubbing the acrylic tank. Um, my laptop worked this morning, and now it won't turn on. And I'm quite concerned because if it doesn't turn on, it means I can't edit this video or upload it. I mean, I could probably, but I'd have to do it on my phone, which would be a major pain. So I'm really hoping my laptop turns on. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have bigger, bigger problems than just not uploading this video. So we'll see. Uh, anything else? Not really. There, and I tried to scrub the tank. My hands all wet. Um, <clears throat> and the algae is like still holding on pretty well. The vinegar and the soap, like, I think they haven't killed the algae, so the algae is like still sticking to the acrylic really well. <sighs> Basically, I think it needs to soak longer, so I think I'm gonna have to leave it. Uh, maybe add some more white vinegar to it and hope that it makes the algae loosen up.
Man, crisis averted. Crisis averted indeed. I got, <clears throat> while you were watching the stream, eat. I got my uh, laptop to turn on. Must be the charger. I think it's either the, it's either the port the charger goes in or the charger itself. I'm not sure. I wiggled it. It turned on finally. But uh, I'm doing a water change on the guppy shrimp tank and I delivered some duckweed for the pond fish because I think they're going to enjoy eating some. Um, I think, I can't remember if I said this or not, so I'm just going to say it again quickly. I forgot you can't post live animals on OfferUp or Facebook, I don't think. And so no success rehoming some of these pond fish yet. Uh, but I got to make a Craigslist post. Or, you know, if you watch this video and you're in the Pacific Northwest area, you know, near Seattle, and you're willing to take uh, the goldfish that I'm looking to get rid of, the ones that I had in that tank a couple days ago, then uh, feel free to let me know. You can DM me on Instagram or something. To end out this video, I thought it'd be cool to change all my lights to blue. Because I always forget that... Uh, from this, there we go. I always forget that I can change. You know, they all change to blue. And then uh, the flu bowl on this tank I can actually adjust with my phone. You know, I think it looks pretty sweet. Make that more red. Uh, it's kind of fun to mess with the colors. But, uh, ooh, that's crazy. Out. Ooh, that's pretty cool. This is going to be sick with the bronze ranch, I feel like. Changing this tank to some kind of... Sorry, Birdstick. Hope this isn't too disturbing for you. Uh, yeah, it's just fun to mess around with sometimes. And uh, I think that's going to call it for this video because i got to edit that video upload it. Um, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to try to keep scrubbing that acrylic tank. And uh, next week, hopefully, we should get some new fish and make some uh, big changes, rehome some people. And, uh, it'll be pretty interesting. Where's sesame? You can't even see sesame. This is funny.